Indonesia is struggling to cope with twin natural disasters tonight. It's confirmed that more than 150 people have been killed after a tsunami smashed into a remote island chain and the nation's most active volcano erupted. More than 400 people are missing in the tsunami zone. The three metre high wave hit the Mentawai Islands south of the provincial capital Padang in the wake of a powerful undersea quake. Indonesia's president has cut short an overseas trip to head to the stricken region. A first look at the damage in the Mentawai Islands. Few have been able to get to the hardest hit areas where at least 10 villages were swept away by the tsunami. Medical personnel are heading there in helicopters, but larger scale operations have been hampered by rough seas, poor communication and distance. The islands are at least a 12-hour ferry ride away from Padang. The district chief says bodies are being left on the ground because there's not enough help to dig graves. In the provincial capital, locals fled to higher ground. The original quake was followed by at least 14 aftershocks. Officials say many people are afraid to return home and that might be contributing to the number of people missing. Food aid, tents and blankets are on their way from Jakarta. Both the United States and Australia have offered support. The Australian government has offered assistance to the government of Indonesia should this be needed. Julia Gillard says all Australians in the area have been accounted for. Eight of them and one New Zealander who were on board the Midas sailed into Badang this morning, rescued by the boat which destroyed theirs. This boat here, Freedom, was uh, anchored outside of us. They were caught by the wave came surfing into us on the wave, hit us directly in the side of the boat, piercing a fuel tank, Midas caught on fire immediately. Good news too for the families of nine Australians missing after the tsunami struck. After a tense night waiting, surfers on board the Southern Cross contacted their loved ones early this morning. The phone rang and next minute I heard my husband's voice on the end of the phone and he said, I'm alive, I'm alive. And I thought, oh, I've heard his voice, so now I know it is true. The Australian skipper, Chris Scurra, remaining in control of the boat throughout. He, he felt the first quake coming through. He told everybody to get back on board. Then he felt a stronger one, so he mowed it out to deep water, where he knew he'd be safe. Chris Scurra will now help with rescue and relief efforts. Lauren Pedersen, World News Australia. Well, earlier I spoke to SurfAid CEO Andrew Judge by video phone from Padang. He just met with Indonesian government officials to tell them what his colleagues had seen in the tsunami hit region. Uh, at this stage, the, the Indonesian vice president arrived in Padang this morning and he was there with some uh, senior, I believe, cabinet level officials. They are really looking for an assessment at this stage uh, and they are looking to surveyed to to deliver information about the the populations the the damage and the loss of life well what injuries have people suffered and what sort of damage are you seeing on the ground there at this stage we've had reports from our staff who are located in the mentawai from some of the surf charter boats uh, the deborah which rescued the surfers that were on the two boats that collided sailed around the south of Pagai this morning and said that it looked devastated uh, from, the, from the ocean. But now we have teams in place. We've got our uh, international you know, NGO level assessment uh, that, that's going on so that the teams are in the, in the communities and, and it does so, take some time to get that process through. And Andrew, what are people most in need of? We've had requests for uh, shelter, so sh we're providing shelter kits. There's a thousand shelter kits going over this afternoon, blankets, sleeping mats, uh, medical supplies, also um, hygiene kits and uh, building kits so, so that they're able to provide some sort of makeshift shelter. Andrew Judge, thank you very much for joining us. That was Andrew Judge joining us via video phone from Padang.